So I just watched the film Moline and I'm very confused on what the actual point of the movie is, although I did enjoy it. Essentially, Molina is a romantic erotic film st starring a 12 year old boy who's obsessed in, as well as the entire town on this uh, beautiful woman named Molina and she's played by Monica Bellucci. The film is set during uh, as Italy is entering World War II which makes for a very interesting setting. The film is very comedic due to the desperation of a majority of the characters in the film and there's a lot of very memorable, you know, moments that make you make you think about when you had that really obsessive crush when you were a kid. The characters of this film feel slightly one dimensional at times besides the two uh, leads. Every other character has really one dimension to them besides the husband at war that is the husband of Molina and the reason everyone's obsessed with her now is really because of her husband being gone. That's really the main point of, you know, that dynamic between the two, uh, you know, that couple. Since the perspective of the film comes from the boy, there's not really much uh, depth that goes really into the actual character of Melina herself. There is a lot of layers to her character and her story, but in the way she affects other people and rumors affect other people, but nothing's really dived into the way it should be. And there's not really that much drama when it comes to relationship dynamics. It's very, everything's very one dimensional with the story. However, it is really entertaining and there's a lot of wacky moments in this film, even though it's set, you know, really early, late in the past. It is very, you know, comedically erotic. I think the film would have been better if the main character was a bit older, so then there could actually be a sort of, you know, maybe a love triangle. I think the film would have been much better if there was a love triangle, but he, the main character only interacts with the person he's uh, infatuated with like only once in the entire film besides a couple eye contact things. I think there's two main points when it comes to this movie but even then when you think about these points they're not really that good when it comes to like other romantic movies who have way more of an interesting point. Take Letter from an Unknown Woman in the film I Max Opals for instance. The romance in that film is very similar to this young, youthful person. In this case, it's a girl who's obsessed with a very older person. But at least in that movie, there's like an age range for something that's able to happen and more of an actual drama to occur. But with this film, the main character is too young for really anything to happen with that romance. The only interesting part really when it comes to the main character of this film is when at the end, the people in town do not want to tell the husband where Melina is because she fled the town due to being, uh, you know, uh, attacked by other women. But the main character is a very, like, nice person, and even though he really, really would like to have Melina for himself, he does tell Melina's husband where she is, hence making it so Melina's able to have a happy life. So I guess the point it could be is just really don't be selfish when it comes to, you know, something that really you don't deserve or something like that and there's also another thing where Melina isn't sought after when she has a romantic interest you know in the film you know being her husband when she essentially gets back with her husband nobody tries to get at her anymore so maybe the film is like about how you know you got to stay married and now you're, if you're single then you could potentially you know become like it just doesn't make really any sense and even if that is the point it's really not that compelling i think the most compelling sort of moral moment of the film is the boy telling the husband where uh, melina is because you know that's like showing like a lack of selfishness e even though like there isn't that much of a good theme or point of the movie it is really enjoyable and if you like this film and you want to see a way more dramatic, well done version of this where the lead is a, happens to be a young girl, I would definitely recommend Letter from an Unknown Woman from Max Opals. It's, I'm pretty sure that's free on YouTube. But, you know, Melina's fun too. Melina's probably more enjoyable if you're going to watch something with other people. So, that's what I thought of Melina. Comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts of this awesome film. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.